last night let's go on on last night reunion recap like the summary of what went down last night so it's all about uh checks bella adekunle chichi rachel chomzi and uh and fina so guys if you watched the episode of fina yesterday after hearing everything you will be blaming fina without knowing that oh this is just uh a bite from big brother or uh, multi choice you know how they do because when the housemates speak you find out that it's not everything that happened that they show like they always show the one that will sell off for them like they show the buzzword side that people we uh we pick interest and push the narrative the way they want which is very bad because be a lot of people have come out to slam fina Ch- uh, choma and rachel for insulting uh chichi for coming for her and if you watch the clip it's it seems as if oh chichi did not do anything but just like fina say in her video yesterday that um that she can never come come for someone unprovoked that something triggered her so all of them it means that it was just a cut a cut and join so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and give a quick recap of what went down yesterday so yesterday it's all about friendship and how what led to this uh three edo which is what led to their fallout how come they are no longer friends because they were triplets during the day house so i think the first person that was asked was uh i think chumsy or russia so ebka asked russia what really went uh how did they have triplets and whatever her what's led to their fallout and russia was like three of them being rachel fina and chichi because of uh their friendship they formed their friendship because of a common enemy which they never liked as of then which is checks and bella relationship like they didn't like it then when trauma was asked what happened why is it that she is no longer in good terms with chichi and trauma was like chichi blocked me on social media after the bb niger show and all that so chichi went on to say that uh trauma body shamed her and even went as far as saying that she was using her yeah, dead man. parent as strategy under the show and that that one did not even pay her that how would it, uh Choma talk about her dead parent that people who she never met and all that 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 one didn't pay her that what pained her was hearing uh what, what did they say hearing chumsy telling people about something she told her confidently like before that you will know how it is for her before she opened her mouth to tell uh, Chomzi such thing. And Chomzi was like, what do you mean? Uh, and she was like, oh, I think she was like, oh, I never said anything bad about uh, Chomzi. And Chomzi was like, no, you're a liar. I watched a clip where you were trying to convince Bella, my friend, that I'm a bad person and all that and she, she was and and she, and Shamsi went on to ask her if really what you told me was a secret are you meant to say it on a reality tv show everyone is watching and she's like that's way and she, she was like that's where you say it but for me i feel like oh this is confidential i'm talking to you i didn't even bother about oh we are in a show or whatsoever i confidently told you this even the people and the like other housemates they didn't get to hear it but you are the one spreading telling everybody here and there and all that i think she, she said something and Trevor was like oh see someone who is talking how about Deji and Chichi went on to ask her oh at least I'm not the one going about all comedians Nigerian comedians like I'm like guys I don't know these people no get love oh. no get love for their hearts they started their buzz bulls and started trending word and all that so Ebuka went on to Fina to ask her Fina what really happened with Chichi and she was like it's not even all about or uh, the age something or it's not about the whatever she said 
oh but the thing is that chichi is older than because if you want to go through that route that chichi is older than most everybody here like she's older she's 33 years old so me from everything fina narrated i'm like oh fina is always on social media like all the things that bbn niger fan have been digging out was what she used to throw jab at Chichi without knowing if it was real or or false. So she said she's about 33 years old, that she's older than everyone here. And Chichi was like, yes, my mother, now you bought me. And she was like, shut the F up, that I don't want to hear your voice, blah, blah, blah. And from there, the alterations started and all that she went on on her, on her explanation she said that she was in a good terms with chichi even outside the house but all of a sudden she noticed that chichi this disassociated herself from her and she was no longer talking to her and she always tried to like let me call this babe and know what's or why she have been as in she have not been talking to me or know that but she will be like anytime she 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 she's like looking down on her like oh you know reach my level and all that and she decided to keep her calm and at the at, the, at some point i don't know what happened and they started uh, a changing world and she the way fina was screaming she uh you i know your silicone have cover your nyash your brain this one you are a mother she was calling she, she your sort of name mother of two abandoned them you and your husband in bini and ran to lagos and one of your child died chichi and all that like she said a lot of things and chichi was in return you that even came to me and you want to do the same silicon nyash and breast because <laughs> Why are you insulting me and all that? And she was like, she that Fina that what made her to disassociate herself from Fina was that Fina was um was telling everyone that she was this spirit that she wanted to win Big Brother Ninja by all means that and Fina was always drunk while in BB Niger show and like something like that. And Fina went on to tell her, even with her strategy that her parents died and her two percent fan that who won the show, she still won the show, and all that guys, it was a lot. Fina said a lot, she said a lot so. After that, it was time for Adekunle, Cheggs, and Bella. So, according to uh, Cheggs, Cheggs said that she he feel like uh, Adekunle don't really care about people's feeling. And again, that Adekunle was jealous of him because he came from a rich background. And Adekunle is trying to make it as if he was trying to like disassociate himself from him checks because of bella and bella was that like, is not even about me like checks was like this guy is a smart guy i like him i won't even like he's very smart but he don't use it well that he knows that this guy is so intelligent and he loved that he is smart and like that this guy that he feel like Adekunle is very fake because each time he's like, oh, checks not like you. You are from rich family, but me, I'm from poor, a poor background, blah, 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 and all that. So after that, after that, they asked Bella. Bella was like, same, he feel like uh, uh, Adekunle was being fake, that he wasn't real because Adekunle told him one time that uh, he came back home and his friends threw his things out and he she was like the story was not adding up what did you do he said he didn't he did nothing he said how can you not do anything and your friends just throw your things out that the story was not adding up that she bella expected him to tell him something like oh maybe i was bringing women to the house or maybe we fought a night before and i came back they threw my things out out but he said that no he didn't do anything and he talked about not having a relationship like he said a lot of things that it was not adding up that he felt like Adekunle was being um was being fake and 
after that she said well it's a game anyone can use any kind of trust strategy in order to win the show like we are here for the money so that that one is gone and adekunle on the other hand say that he's still avoiding shakes because personally he liked bella and Shags was very worried that he adequately love uh likes Bella, so he had to avoid Shags. He said um he's he was still even avoiding Shags up till now. Like guys, I just hope at the end of this reunion that we be like those guys will solve the issue because if this BB Niger people they always organize reunion. Do you know the meaning of reunion? every uh, after every bb niger show and like none of them are settling their score so it's totally rubbish yeah they're still doing it to make their money or what like you go they go in there they like friends they came out like enemies like no problem to resolve they don't even resolve their you they don't get to resolve their scores their issue then it's totally rubbish because for unless they are trying to push the bb niger to trend because for from what i'm seeing on twitter and every it seems that like this bb niger reunion no level up at all they call the level up but they no level up like there's no maturity like all of them they were the way all of them are behaving like i don't know like i don't know so guys i will stop here